It is late in the second era, a time of war, as the empire of Tiber Septim sweeps through the kingdoms of Tambrio in a glorious bid for conquest. Septim is opposed on all sides, but never more fiercely than by Hammerfell, the ancestral home of the Red Gods. The High King of Hammerfell, Thassard II, resists the Imperial invasions even as he sees other kingdoms crumble. Until at last, without warning and surprisingly devoid of court treachery, death takes its full measure. With its High King dead, Hammerfell is crippled, plunging into a bloody civil war between the crowns, fighting for their homeland's continued sovereignty, and the forebears, who have finally accepted the Emperor's rule. The crowns, led by the heir to Facade, Prince Ator, are continually victorious, spilling the blood of the forebears across Hammerfell's sands. From his seat of power in the port city of Stosmakai, Prince Ator slowly reunites his father's unraveled kingdom. Feeling their impending defeat, the forebears sign a pact with the Emperor, allowing him to bring his armies in, crush the crowns, and rule Hammerfell as his own. Tiber Septim's armies prove too much for the proud Red God crowns. Tiber Septim sends his best commander, Lord Richton, to Strosmakai to close the grip on Prince Ator and the crowns. The prince rallies his forces for one last stand. Knowing that Hammerfell's sovereignty is at stake, the crown forces match the might of the Empire, meeting them in the harbor of Strosmakai for the final battle. The fighting is fierce. Lord Richton, having seen the prince's victories at sea before, decides to bring his last resource to the fore. The dragon, Nathalilagos, proud jewel of the Imperial Crown. Ator commands his archers to ready their weapons, but is struck down himself by Richton's assassin, felled by an arrow whose poison spreads to Ator's wizard attempts to save the prince, but the dragon ends his magic and the crown's hope for victory in a single fiery breath. Having conquered the crowns, the emperor's forces claim rule over all of Hammerfell. Imperial garrisons are stationed at every city, and Richton himself is named provisional governor of Strosmakai. Months pass. The red guards of Hammerfell both crown and forebear, learn to live under the new imperial rule, and Tiber Septim extends his reach into the rest of Tamriel. It is only through fate that any of this will come to concern our hero, Cyrus, a red god who long ago left Hammerfell to wander the borderlands of the Empire. Crimea, Cyrus, et or okodor. Let's make this short, Sarathra. I've got work to do. I'll leave with Duardine's men in an hour. Remrigi in Tnor, who co o imperial ja eco pofam rotot velk. You should know you got me the job. Um, Trajir. Sratra kol kotero to Hammerfell, boshe in rot. The seal is broken. Sratra warrega. Yeah, I be bet you were. Nu kodu adin, Sratra X, Sratra X kail. Izara. Rolita dek ka udor. I need a ship. The board the Rathra Nakovic Warabarashi. Money too. Sri Dwadin Ja Epako Ja Srik Pur Srathra Kado Eliter Beko. We haven't spoken in ten years. There was trouble. Kakatar. I killed her husband. Hammerfell's prodigal son, Cyrus, 
returns to the province of his birth. He buys passage to the island of Stosmakai in the hopes of rescuing his sister, Izara. Below is what the pilot said to the wet yet knaves before him. The Restless League is claiming this cargo, said the other with cruel, cruel clarity. Probably wouldn't make a difference if I told you I had no time for this. This is about Red Guard Armor Boy. Stand aside. Yes, a doubtful notion it is. Piracy and politics. But there you have it. Never been much for politics. In my day, piracy was honest work. Don't be a hero, boy. Where's the money in that? And yea, verily, by his bravery, they were impressed for a scant few seconds. You're rusty. Move over. You're sharp. You better quit now. Lock. Lock. You get a rest. No. No. Cyrus! Captain, good to see you back in command. Ah, please call me Brennan. You disposed of those ruffians so quickly, I had no time to retrieve my sword from my cabin. Not so, hmm? Look, over there! Let us move on before more show up. I hope this letter finds your hand, friend. My latest travels have brought me to Stross Mackay, and no one here has seen your sister for three months. I fear the worst. I feel obligated to stay for a few weeks. I'll be at the drive, I'll be at the tail in, should you return. Tobias. There, sailor, can I have a word with you?
Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, the question is, what can I do for you? The young stranger in town, fearless, footloose, and fancy-free, a little light of purse, perhaps? I have a proposition that may appeal, but first allow me to introduce myself. Kataro, contractor of Stross Mackay, at your service. Saris, charmed. I wonder if you know my sister, Izara. I've come to Stross Mackay to find out what's happened to her. I'm afraid I don't know her. I'm just a simple working man. You might try Drikius up at the Dragon Tail. Pretty much everyone in Stross Mackay passes through his door eventually. I haven't been in Hammerfell since before the war. How do you like being a citizen of the Empire? Sure beats war, my young friend. I won't lie to you, though. Hard to find honest labor these days. Four bears would rather smirk than lift, and the crowns don't have the back for it anymore. Sounds like the crowns are taking their defeat pretty hard. Yeah, I've always stayed out of politics. Bad for business. Crown, forebear, I don't care. As long as their coin is true. My philosophy is, what's done is done. Live and let live. The grass is always greener, you know? I guess the forebears are still savoring victory in the Civil War, eh? Yeah, you could say that, although you might not want to say it in their faces. They're a touchy lot these days. I've been up north for years, but I was pretty sure the forebears were for the war. Of course they did. And the forebears like to bust up the dragon tail just in case anyone doubts it. Some ungenerous crowns like to point out the imperial flags flying all over the palace and the imperial soldiers patrolling the streets. None of my concern, though. Haha, <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you know about a group of ruffians calling themselves the Restless League? Damn them and their bloody-minded ways. They've done more to ruin Stross Mackay than the Four Bears and Empire combined. Yeah, if it weren't for them, this city would have been at peace months ago. I'm supposed to meet a friend at the Dragon Tail. Can you direct me? It's only watering hole in town. Follow the ramps uphill to the town square. Bit of friendly advice? Watch your step. The Four Bears are a touchy lot these days. You call yourself a contractor. What does that mean? Over here we have someone who needs something done. Over there we have someone who's looking for work. How do they find each other? That's where I come in. Tell me about this job you have for me. A simple task. Pick up an amulet from the Gasta and deliver it to the governor's palace. Now to be honest, I've been having trouble finding someone to take the job. But I'm sure a robust lad such as yourself pays no attention to silly local superstitions. Are you interested? Sure. I'll take the job. Splendid. Here's your hundred gold. I'll have the rest for you after you deliver the amulet to the governor. Uh, well, I'm sure you won't have any trouble, but, uh, you probably want to do this during the daylight. Refresh my memory about this job you hired me for. A simple task. Pick up an amulet from the Gasta and deliver it to the governor's palace. The Gasta? Eh, a harmless old hermit. The more superstitious of my fellow citizens repeat silly rumors about him, but I put no stock in their tales. He lives in the old wizard's tower. Just follow the shoals on the northwest side of the island. Any idea what's so important about this amulet? That's between the Gasta and the Governor. I just get paid to find a delivery man. How much are you offering for this job? Like I said, I've been having trouble hiring for this job, so I'm upping the rate a bit. 100 up front and 200 more after completion. That's pretty high for a simple delivery. What's the catch? The pay is proportional to the danger. Nagasta's tower isn't exactly on the main road, you know? So you may have a little trouble getting there. Nothing that you can't handle, I'm sure. Where can I find the governor's palace? Straight at the top of the hill. You can't miss it. The grandest structure in Strauss Mackay. Maybe in all of Hammerfell. 
quite the tourist attraction before the late unpleasantness. What superstitions do the locals harbor about this Nagasta? Oh, you know, they call him a necromancer, prattle about him stealing people's souls, armies of undead, you know, that sort of thing. Nothing a well-armed fellow like yourself would worry about. How is the Restless League responsible for ruining Strasmacat? Burning or plundering half the cargoes headed for this port, stirring up the Imperials to ever more ruthless repression. The League doesn't seem to realize that the war is over, and they lost. You're saying the League was allied with the Crowns? That depends on who you ask. I don't know. I'm not one of your political gentlemen, always in someone else's business. I'm just a poor working stiff. A uh, bird in the hand is better, you know what they say. <laughs> Three keys? A friendly local lizard. Not that I have anything against him, or her, or whatever. Can't ever tell with those Argonians. Runs the Dragon Tail, the tavern on the town square. We'll talk later. <laughs>